today we are expecting some more summer showers, but sometimes these pop up storms can combine to create damaging winds that last for miles. Meteorologist Chris Mulcahy has taken a look at the dangers and severe winds caused by uh, bow echoes in today's weather IQ. This week we're talking about bow echoes and yes, they get their name because they look like an archery bow, but the winds they produce can be treacherous and they can last for miles. You know what time it is. It's time for your weather IQ. When it's hot and humid, storms can develop, where one storm can turn into multiple storms, and those storms can become a bow echo. A bow echo is a quick moving line of thunderstorms shaped like a bow. They can produce swaths of damaging straight line winds and even small tornadoes. Most of the time, bow echoes derive from clusters of thunderstorms. Here's how it happens. Rain cooled air plummets to the Earth's surface and spreads out. This cooler dense air or cold pool hugs the surface and forms a mini cold front called a gust front. This front will drive up the heat and humidity of the day, forming new thunderstorms. As this process repeats itself, a strong inflow comes from the back, tilting the storm and causes the front to drive forward, thus forming a bow. They can also develop from squall lines and supercells. When bow echoes are a series of them travel over 250 miles, causing widespread severe wind gusts, then the bow echo is classified as a derecho. Bow echoes, which are technically a QLCS, form these kinks along the line. The northern part of the bow echo is most notorious for developing quick spin-up tornadoes, something we see a lot of here in the Carolinas. So whenever storms look like this on the radar, it should get your attention, and you know it's time to be weather aware. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte.